Hey guys, what's up? This is Samsung Intercept, and this is going to be a review of the CM9 build of CyanogenMod Mod 9 for the Motorola Triumph. And we'll go to the Android version, as you can see, 4.0.4. .4. You know, it does. this is a legitimate uh, ice cream sandwich. And they do have a CM10 ROM, which is Jelly Bean in the making, but it's um, not really getting anywhere. Um, because the, t the Moto Dev team is really focused on getting this, the camera working, because the camera and the HDMI are two things that currently still don't work on this build, as of November, thir November 30th. Um, so we're gonna go over this build, just some basic stuff, maybe a couple games. Um, so again, it besides having no camera and no HDMI, the thing is completely, you know, it. it it really kicks the crap out of CM, um, I mean, uh, Science of Bond 7. Um, the only problem is everyone who's on Science of Bond 7 has the camera and we don't. So you have to kind of balance things out. Personally, I don't need the camera, so this is my daily driver. Um, uh, everything is pretty smooth for the most part. Sometimes, you know, uh, multitasking is actually pretty smooth compared to some Android phones. I mean, some just lag forever. Um, let's go into Subway Surfer. This is just a, a basic 3D game, no harsh loading or anything. Um, and as a side note, I will be making a couple more Triumph videos in the next coming month. Um, but in about two months or so, um, expect the channel to have a new theme. I'm going to be getting the Nexus 7. And as you, some of you know, I'm part of the CAG team. I haven't been making videos for them in a while, and I have a new camera set up and everything, and, it, you know, I'm going to be trying to make some more videos pretty soon. Enough about my life. Um, let's play the game. As you can see, it, it works really well. I mean, no hiccups at all. And this is just a basic game. It's fun. No hiccups whatsoever. Very responsive. Oh, that was... Alright, whatever. Let's, uh, let's do Angry Bird just for reference. Come on. There we go. And not my lucky day, I guess. That was terrible. There we go. Alright, bird gone. No lag at all. You know, it's Angry Birds. Do not expect lag when you play Angry Birds on this phone. And as a side note, it's running a 1 gigahertz processor. It's, it's clocked at 1 gigahertz right now, so it's, it's running at stock, um, the stock's ROM speeds. Let's swoop in the air. That's just not fair. And the only reason why it's taking so long to switch to the, um, the Nexus 4 um, that I will be getting in January is because the queue, or the waiting line, is supposedly 8 to 9 weeks. So for now I'm with this phone and I'll be making videos of such. Uh, let's turn on Wi-Fi, see how fast it takes to turn on. As a little indicator, look at the top bar next to vibrating. Um, it actually loads a lot quicker than it used to on um, the first couple Cyanogenbod 9 ROMs. Look, it, it's already up. It's, it's actually, it's, I mean, that's like lightning compared to what it used to be. It used to be terrible. Um, Bluetooth is instant. Um, 3G for the most part has always been pretty good. Um, GPS turns on right away. 
I might do a GPS test later on in the next coming month or so while I still have the phone. Um, let's see. I'll just do an epic rap battle, the newest one. An advertisement. You can get Chrome if you want. You just download from the Play Store. It's compatible. Um, if you want Google Now, you can uh, flash it to the phone. Yes, stereo speakers is what also makes the phone pretty awesome. Um, One ten thousand five. Okay. Four times ten thousand five equals forty thousand twenty. Okay. It works. Um, I don't want to do a um a three G test of it because my house. Is, I mean, I'll I'll try it. My house goes in and out of uh three G. So three G and dead zone pretty much, which is not very fun, but I'll do it anyway. 3D up. Let's do a uh, load. Just a general one. Um, I'll type in. Uh, phone dog, I guess. You know, I'll type in Google Play Store. You know what? I said phone dog first. I'll do phone dog. And this is on one bar, so um, a 3G. I've noticed that 3G speeds are actually really good. Um, once you have full bars, YouTube videos load really quick. Well, you know, quick in comparison to say what 3G is supposed to be. You know, it's no 4G super, you know, powerhouse, but for a 3G, an old 3G device, you know, it's really good. Um, this is a mobile website, so I'm currently, you know, I'm really in a dead zone as far as browsing and 3G and stuff, so depending on where you are, you'll have better speed than that. It, again, if you have full bars, it's going to be blazing pretty much as far as 3G goes, it's not 4G like I say. And that's really about it for this video.